Hello guys, could this be here? Welcome back to another video. In this one, my friends, I'm going to be testing a GeForce RTX 3060 12GB model in Fallout 76. This one is the AFOX model of the card. We are running it with the latest NVIDIA drivers and I'm not manually overclocking it. You can see all of its specs right here in Tech Power Up's GPU Zero Sizable Bar is enabled and we got the 12 gigs showing up right there as well. And over on the left, we're pairing it with the Ryzen 9 7950X 3D with half of its cores disabled. So it's basically the same as Ryzen 7 7800X 3D and 32 gigabytes of DDR5 6000 megahertz RAM in dual channel. Let's get into it, shall we? All right, let's go over the settings first. I'm starting at 1080p resolution using the ultra settings with no depth of field right here. I also adjusted the FOV to 110. It makes me feel a little bit more comfortable, you know, and uh, yep, this is it. These are the settings. Let's do this. As you can see, by the way, I did unlock the FPS. So we're getting 150s looking in this direction, but looking in this direction, it goes down into the 60s and 70s and this is with the equivalent cpu of a 7800 x 3d my friends it's no slow cpu okay yet it's kind of bottlenecking the 3060 right here in some scenarios at least but in others it just jumps like crazy the fps you know maybe it's server related or something i don't know for sure this is like the first time that i'm playing this game actually <laughs> um but yeah it's very interesting to see that now the the only reason I am unlocking the FPS, it comes locked at 60 by default by the way, is because I am here to test the GPU, so I, I need to know what it's fully capable of. Oh boy, oh boy, okay, 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 goodbye, goodbye, thank you. Um, without any limitations, of course. But if I was actually playing the game, I would just lock it to 60 frames per second because when you unlock the FPS in this title, it breaks some of the physics. Still. This is the way to see 100% GPU utilization, and this is the way to test the GPU here in this title, so I'm gonna keep using this. Also, the frame time graph sometimes has a little bit of micro stuttering right there, you can see it when it happens like this, you know, but it's nothing major, and it will only happen whenever, is this an enemy? No, I don't think so. Whenever you unlock the FPS. If you have it capped to 60 frames per second and you get 60 FPS all of the time, it won't really have any stuttering issues whatsoever. It's actually a really, really smooth experience thankfully it doesn't look great or anything especially for a 2020 game but yeah it's based on fallout 4 from 2015 so what can you expect really right and uh, some things actually remind me a lot of starfield <laughs> Some of this static vegetation that looks absolutely terrible. Well, it's not fully static though. It's, it moves a little tiny bit, but it really reminds me of the things in Starfield. In that game, you will also come across a lot of vegetation that is just there, static, not doing anything. <laughs> um, so yeah, kind of interesting, you know. Anyway, where should we go? Ooh, if I go into this map, the FPS go <laughs> up like crazy. I think I, I'm gonna go over here, take a look at the FPS in this area which seems to have a little bit more buildings and stuff like that. Um, and then we're gonna go up to 1440p. Because apparently if you are playing on ultra settings, 1080p with an RTX 3060, it's gonna work absolutely fine. Kind of to be expected, because the GPU wasn't even released back when this game came out, you know? Uh, and also because it looks like this. <laughs> but yeah, it's nice to know because with today's game optimizations, uh, you just expect the 3060 to struggle quite a bit at ultra settings and 1080p resolution, and that doesn't really happen over here. So that's awesome. Hello there. Oh, but that, that's just, that's another zombie. Okay, okay. Whoa, hello, hello, hello. Stop, stop, stop. Don't, don't come towards me. All right. Oh boy, gosh, what the hell? Where did he go? Okay, there. Oh boy, oh, come on. This is really weird, actually. Like, the FOV is set to 110, but I don't think the weapon weapon models uh, scale with that. So, yeah, I, I don't like that too much. You know what? I'm kind of enjoying exploring this world. Not gonna lie. I really like games like Rust, for example. Not so much Ark because of the dinos and the terrible optimizations and... Yeah, I don't like it, but Rust is one of my favorite games to play, and this is kind of reminding me of that. Ugh, why does it have so much ghosting or whatever? You can see, like, on the trees, for example. Look at that. So weird. But yeah, if my friends wanted to, I could see myself playing this game with them for quite a few hours, you know? Just exploring things around. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 I thought these were friendly. Stop! 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 Okay, you're supposed to be friendly. You're supposed to be friendly. Gosh, I think 
god they don't explode, you know? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. All good. Stop it, stop it! How many bullets does it take to kill you bastards? Come on! Do you explode? Actually, no, okay. You know what? The gunplay kind of feels all right in this one. Aside from, like, the terrible micro stuttering that we have sometimes <laughs> because of the unlocked FPS. But again, if you lock it to 60 or if you just leave it at default, which is locked 60 FPS, it will feel smooth and very responsive and so on. But yeah, if you unlock the FPS, it's gonna see a little bit of micro stuttering, which can affect gunplay quite a bit. But in terms of, like, how the guns feel, I, I think I prefer Rust's. Uh, implementation, right? Oh, gosh, what the heck? It's Cerberus. It's the milky Cerberus, basically. <laughs> so, yeah, I think this is about it for the 1080p testing, and I'm gonna stop it right there and play around at 1440p for a little bit. Now, one thing that I hate about this is that I need to restart the game to apply the resolution, which is absolutely ridiculous. I haven't seen that in a really long time, but it's a Bethesda title, so... Yeah, and we're back here, 2560 by 1440 resolution using the same ultra settings. And as you can see, with unlocked FPS, we're getting 90-ish frames per second. That's pretty good, you know, but I have noticed that it stutters a little bit more, especially right here, look at that frame time graph, than the 1080p resolution did. So, <sighs> of course, if you lock the FPS, it's going to become very good and very smooth, and it shouldn't really have those micro stutterings and uh, frame skipping issues and so on but right now it is it is a little bit rough so definitely leave it locked guys there's no need to unlock the fps unless you are performance testing like me now the good news is if you are running a 1440p monitor with the rtx 3060 since we're getting like 90 to 100 fps most of the time with some drops into the 80s at times it will be at 60 FPS 100% of the time. It shouldn't really drop anywhere, basically, unless you have a CPU bottleneck, of course, and you're looking at the entire map from above, at the beginning area, for example. But whenever you venture out into the world, it should be a smooth experience, as you can see. It becomes way more GPU bound down here. Oh my God, holy crap. Okay, hello, hello. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay, 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 let's fight these guys. Damn it, what the hell? All right. All right, so it's not slowing down even with those effects on screen, as you can see, still 90-something FPS. Jesus, okay. <laughs> uh, we're level three, interesting. Very good, very good. Come on, I exploded. Okay, what the hell? This just keeps on frosting or whatever. Also, tons of frame skipping right now. It's really annoying, actually. There we go, finally got him. What do you have for me, buddy? Short hunting rifle or sport. I, I didn't really... Uh, see it properly 10 millimeter round why why would this have a 10 millimeter round in it anyway this micro stuttering issue is really really noticeable here sometimes it's really smooth as it was right there but then yeah this happens you can clearly see it skipping frames right even on youtube so don't do this i, I think i will actually just lock the FPS back to 60 because this is this is very rough. <laughs> and we're back here, 60 FPS locked. This feels way smoother than previously, guys. Definitely look at that frame time graph. You know, it doesn't have a single spike right now. It actually feels really smooth. And this is definitely how you should play it. And now the GPU utilization is at around 60 to 70% usage, sometimes going up to like 80%, but it shouldn't really reach 100% in most scenarios at least so it will be a locked 60 fps experience 100 percent of the time that's exactly what you want of course look at that wow such a difference in terms of smoothness guys it's crazy so if you wanted that higher refresh rate experience at 1080p it would be possible especially if you locked it to like 120 frames per second for example for a smoother frame time graph once again um but here at 1440p just lock it to 60 please <laughs> It's so much better of an experience. Like, the 1% lows previously were a lot lower than uh, this, right? This is now 58 FPS, basically the same as the native resolution stuff. A little stutter right there once again. So I guess it's not going to be 100% stable, but it is close to 100% stable. So I, I like this, and this, this is definitely how I'd play this, okay? All right, those are also enemies. All right, come on, die. Hello? Oh, we got a friend here fighting the bastards. Let's go. Come on. There we go. Uh, 
Come on, come on. No slowdowns. That's great. There we go. Nice. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Xin, right? Xin, yes. Xin76. One there. Let's go. He's dead. And wait a second. 10 millimeter round. Yes, that's what I want. More bullets. I have 328 bullets, actually. <laughs> what? That's a lot of bullets. Okay. Basically, you're only going to see a slowdown in FPS if you have a CPU bottleneck, I think. Because the GPU is definitely more than capable of handling Fallout 76 at 1440p ultra settings. That's great from the 3060. I'm glad I chose this GPU to start doing this with and testing this game with because it's just great. It gives me a good idea of what to expect. The RTX 40 series should be a little bit faster as well. Like, of course, 4060 Ti end up will be much, much faster than this. Not only a little bit faster. Hello? Okay. <laughs> nice hat, buddy. Those god rays are actually looking decent. Okay, finally, we're seeing some decent graphical uh, things here in this game. Some features, right? Because everything else looks really... Yeah. Is this Porto in Portugal? This looks like a bridge in Porto. Uh, I actually have a few pictures of it. <laughs> Interesting. But all right, I think that's enough of the 1440p resolution, guys. Hello there. Okay, goodbye. Thank you very much for your pipe pistol. Everybody has pipe pistols for some reason. Let's cross the bridge and then go up to 4K resolution. It might actually be playable even at 4K, although it will definitely start dropping from 60 FPS, maybe causing a bit more stuttering, so be careful with that. Uh, we can't cross the bridge, unfortunately, but I will take this. Very handy. Teddy bear as well. Plasma cartridge. Okay. All right. Oh, wait. Oh, boy! All right, <laughs> space call for help, buddy, buddy, I'm here, please help, <laughs> where is the guy, <laughs> oh boy, yeah, he's not gonna come, I think, we got 17 seconds, give up, I will give up, and clip through the ground, and what is my head doing, <laughs> And lastly, we got 4K resolution, ultra settings, and uh, okay, yeah, 100% GPU utilization, so we're maxing that out. The game is quite stuttery, once again, skipping some frames here and there. So apparently, if you can't have locked FPS, it's gonna be a little bit of a stuttery experience sometimes. Right now at 60, it is very smooth, but once it starts dropping, it starts stuttering a little bit as well. Look at that. Yeah, the frame time just gets way too inconsistent, holy crap. So if you have a CPU bottleneck, guys, and you can't really achieve 60 FPS, I suggest you to lock it to like 40, 45, or even 30 FPS if you drop that far, you know, to maintain a playable frame time experience, because otherwise it's gonna be a stuttery mess like the one that we're having right now. Now, in terms of the performance itself, the 3060, it's pretty impressive that it can do 4K above like 50 frames per second all of the time, or 40 plus FPS all of the time, I guess, even in intensive areas. Yeah, like over here. But again, you really need to lock your FPS because that frame time, man, that is absolutely horrendous. It feels like an early access title in this regard. Aside from 1080p, which was very smooth, it's just crap. Look at that. Ugh, it, it makes 50 FPS feel like 20 FPS sometimes. It's so inconsistent, so unstable, and it's really hard to aim at things like this with that much frame skipping, holy. Now I'm gonna lock it to 40 frames per second right here using Rivetuner Statistics Server, and we're back to a smooth frame time graph. It's just a line right now. It's actually really good. <laughs> um, so I, I, again, I would just do this if you want to play at 4K resolution or lower down a few settings here and there, like shadow quality and stuff like that, that might push it towards 60 plus FPS all of the time. Or, oh, hello, hello, oh, you're an ugly bastard. Aren't you? And especially if you play with a controller for that console-like experience, well, the 40 FPS will give you the needed smoothness to enjoy the game. It's definitely much better than 30 frames per second. And with the controller, it, it will feel even better, you know? Maybe add a little bit of motion blur as well to disguise the fact that this isn't 60 FPS and it isn't really that smooth. And it'll be great. It's, it'll be a decent experience with the RTX 3060 even at 4K resolution. The thing is... 
this game doesn't really look all that impressive on Ultra already, and if you start lowering settings down, it will look even worse. So, oh my god, what the hell? Uh, hello. Oh, that, that's a lot of them. That's a lot of them. Stop. Kind of curious to see what's on top of all of this. <laughs> I've been climbing this forever. This is a really big mountain right here. Oh, boy. You, you actually scared me a little bit. <laughs> Okay. Oh, interesting. This is just a little park, you know. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> oh, and there's a guy right here as well. Because of the radiation, he died. Look at that. Nice. It's kind of interesting to explore these things, right? Yeah, this is all very interesting. So keep tuned in for the next video, guys. I'll be back with more Fallout 76 testing. Maybe even Fallout 4 if you guys are interested in that as well. And uh, yeah, I think I will keep the FPS locked <laughs> throughout these videos because that's definitely the way to play them. That's been it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video at 4K with 40 FPS. GPU usage doesn't go up from like 85%, I guess. Even here with a lot of vegetation, a lot of uh, buildings and so on right there and right there doesn't drop it's stable as long as you have the fps locked so yeah good experience here with the 3060 for sure just make sure you don't have much of a cpu bottleneck because that can actually kill the experience by quite a bit so i'll catch you in the next one very soon and as always love you all Bye bye